Hey guys, welcome. Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and I just wanted to talk to you today about meditation, how it's impacted me, different types of meditation and why you should start meditating today as well. First and foremost for myself, going back a number of years, meditation was something that I was just completely scared by because meditation to me and maybe like yourself is all about or perceived to be all about stopping thinking. And have you ever tried to stop thinking? Stop thinking, stop thinking, try not to think, try not to think, try not to think, try not to think. It's just not possible. But the problem is I think this whole stigma around meditation has started to really impact people and they're stopped, they're not meditating. They're, they're too scared because for some reason in their head they think that they, they just gotta stop thinking. Not the case whatsoever. I started meditating a couple of years ago. Personally, I've tried a couple of different methods. I'll go into what I personally enjoy, which is more mindfulness meditation, but there's also guided meditations and mantra meditations as well. Just to name a couple, I'm sure there's plenty more out there, but these are the personal experiences for myself. You know, obviously Google's out there. You'll be able to find some more, more stuff out there as well. And there's plenty of iPhone apps out there as well that are all about meditation. There's, I think, Head Candy. Um, I personally use one called um, Insight Timer, which is purely just a timer itself. It's just got that nice gong that just stops the meditation at the very, very end. So good. Anyway, digressing. Back to the different types of meditation. So first and foremost, the one that I personally like is mindfulness meditation. So when I'm sitting there or I'm laying there, I'm scanning my body. That's how I personally like to start my meditations. I'll start with my feet, just connect in with them and start to relax every muscle in the, in the foot and then start working my, my way up my legs and as far as I get. Now, if I personally find a bit of a, an energetic niggle somewhere or a bit of a, I don't know, just a knot or something, just doesn't feel right, I'll sit there, I'll inquire into it, I'll start to, you know, ask what the message is because my personal belief is that there is a message in all of our body. There's, there's a reason why there's something there. There's a reason why there's, you know, you got pain in your shoulder. It might not even be your pain, but that's another topic I'll go into another day. But, you know, there's something there. Maybe you're not... Uh, honoring yourself enough, maybe you're not loving yourself enough, whatever it is, there's always a message there for you to be receiving and that's one of the things that I personally enjoy about meditation because it allows me to kind of check into my body and just understand what's going on for it and at the same time release any tension that might be going on because meditation is very very good at calming the nervous system grounding you and of course being able to connect in with your intuition as well and just being able to get that inner wisdom that is is in everyone with all of the the society being so busy and chaotic with cell you know mobile phones social media everything like that we're getting bombarded by with so much stuff it can be very difficult to, to be able to connect in with your intuition. So meditation is crucial, I believe, in this day and age because we have all of this external input and just we're being bombarded by so much. So it's key to be able to sit still and just listen into yourself. Another thing that, that showed up for myself was that going back, kind of digressing a little bit, but I used to be a people pleaser. The thing for me and what I experienced in that and what I've learned through meditation is I've been able to distinguish what ideas are mine, what I truly want, and what I don't want versus before, before meditation for myself is that I, I would just go along with the idea because it was a great idea. And I would be sometimes feeling resentment afterwards because I realized that that's not actually what I wanted to do. That was their idea, it wasn't mine. So I've now through meditation been able to get to know who I am on a deeper level and understand what my core values and core um, beliefs and desires are and things in life. So meditation is so much more than just sitting there in, you know, cross-legged and being, oh, you know, it's much more than that. When it comes to a guided meditation, you've got iPhone apps and or you could just Google on YouTube or something like that for guided meditation. And in essence, what it'll be is some nice background music and a voice somebody's voice and they're just going to be guiding you they'll probably even start with a body scan themselves actually you know body scan connect in with your breath start to be able to feel that air going through through your nostrils down into your lungs and coming back out and just being connected into that and the whole purpose of that is to really bring your attention away from your thoughts now yes you're going to be drifting back to your thoughts on occasions but the intention is when you do start to get carried away with whatever thought that's going on, maybe you're thinking about what's going to be for lunch or dinner or um, that to-do list, whatever it is. When you start to drift away with that, the whole idea is to bring your mind back to the connection with your body, your breath, um, or the guided meditation at the time. Or in the case of a mantra meditation, you've got a specific word that means something to you. 
Now I haven't dived into it too much. I've done a little bit of it and the word, my mantra was actually given to me and I think that's the way that it works for most mantra meditations like transcendental meditation and um, there's a few others out there as well. When you've got that mantra, in essence it's the same as bringing your attention back to your breath. Instead, you hold the thought of that mantra in your mind and that is what your focus point is. So when you start to drift away, you bring your mind back to that mantra. And as I say, at the end of the day, meditation is not about stopping thinking. It's a process of calming the mind. It's a process of calming the nervous system, grounding yourself, being able to connect in with your intuition and really just deeper connection with yourself. And meditation over time, um, you will start to increase the, the I guess, the, the space in between the thoughts and you'll be able to drift down on, on the space and the energy and just allow whatever's there to, to come through for yourself. So start meditating today, I, I challenge you. And it doesn't have to be long, one minute, three minutes, whatever it is. Ideally, work your way up to a 20 minute meditation. I personally, 20 minutes is a bit of a stretch for me. My sweet spot is either eight minutes or 12 minutes. 12 minutes for me, I tend to get a, a deeper meditation, um, I guess because my body is starting to relax in the first couple of minutes and I don't quite get into that depth in an eight minute meditation, but an eight minute meditation is still great. Heck, I'll even meditate for 30 seconds while I can on the train or something like that, just to be able to connect in and relax and just breathe and just allow whatever stress is going on in my body at the time to just dissipate because we are not the stress. We have collected it, but just observe it and allow it to pass. Go and grab Insight Timer. It's a beautiful meditation app that is, as I said, it's a timer, but I think it's got some guided meditations in there as well. And just give it a go. Absolutely give it a go. Now, be, be cautious if you're gonna lay down or you're gonna try and meditate before you go to bed, you're gonna end up falling to sleep. So don't meditate while you're in bed because your conscious mind or unconscious mind is aware that bed means sleep. So do it sitting on the couch or do it sitting on the floor or laying on the floor or something like that to be able to just relax your whole body and not being in a place where the, the mind is gonna to wanna to just drift away. So give that a go. Write a comment below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are about meditation and how it's impacted your life. I know for me, through the tough times in life over the last couple of years, it's really helped to keep me grounded, keep me balanced and keep me sane more than anything else. So go and uh, give it a go. Give it a go. And at the end of the day, if you got any value out of this, go and like it, share it and comment on it. And yeah, give it some love. All right, speak to you soon. Cheers.